All right, guys. Uh, got another knife review for you today. Uh, this is the Smith and Wesson Search and Rescue uh, Combat Knife. Go ahead and take it out here. The snap is actually pretty tight, which I do like that. Uh, this is the. If you guys can see that, the CK SUR2. Well, there are several different types of uh, search and rescue boot knives or combat knives. Uh, this is a little bit bigger than a boot knife, so I'm going to go ahead and classify it as a combat knife. So if you see when I hold it, it, it does have a slightly longer blade than most boot knives, plus it's only sharpened on one side, not both. Uh, first, let's just go ahead and go over the sheath. Um, not, I'm not pleased or displeased with the sheath, really. Um, I mean, it looks cool, but it's the belt, the belt sheath or, or the belt loop. I mean, if you can see, uh, it is one. It's small, which I mean, I get. I guess that could be nice for sometimes. It, it'll stay tight to your waist, but I like to have a little bit of room sometimes because I mean, it, it's annoying when having to get it on and off but it is just a velcro loop which uh, I, if it was a snap and like I've seen some sheets that are snap and velcro which normally work better but uh I mean if you're like this is going in my survival kit so I mean I'm gonna be out in the in the woods a lot and I mean this will fill up with debris and eventually this will probably just stop sticking so I mean you won't be even able to wear it on your on yourself anymore. I mean, it's going to be useless after it gets full up. And I mean, it's it's Velcro. It's, it's going to eventually. So that, that's one thing I, I don't really like too much about the belt loop. But I mean, for now, until I mean, it'll work for now. But uh, this pouch here, it does come with a sharpening stone. Uh, I haven't used it. Uh, I'm not sure how to. I mean it. Seems like it's a pretty fine, it's a pretty coarse sharpening stone, so it may or may not be too great. It did come with a knife, so I wouldn't expect too much out of it. Um, but I mean, just the the material in general is kind of very loose. There there is a plastic insert here, which makes it a, a little bit more reinforced. It's it's not as floppy, uh, but still, it's it's it's. It's very. It seems. It's act, it actually seems to be a pretty cheap nylon. I mean, it's not even a good nylon. But, I mean, there's not much good nylon, but there's there's still better nylon than this. And this is. I mean, just for something that came out of a Smith and Wesson, you would kind of expect a little bit more uh, quality control. I mean, there in previous models they had better sheaths. Actually, they they really cut back on the quality of their sheath now um, but I mean other than the belt loop I mean it, it's not bad it's just it, it, it's just not great I guess but you do have this strap so you can uh, wrap it around your leg while it's on your belt as well so there's just less less um, movement go ahead and put the sharpening stone back in here now the knife itself is actually pretty nice in my opinion. I, I like it. I've never actually owned a uh, combat knife. Uh, I'm normally more of a bushcraft type knife person. Uh, and for, first, I'll say this is a fighting knife. This is not a go out and chop limbs type knife. I mean, first off, it's small. Second it's it's just the, the type of knife that it is it's not going to be it's not going to hold up to, towards the um all the chopping and, and batoning that a knife that's made specifically for that purpose it's it's not going to do the same but this is i got this in my kit for more um um like fine work woodworking um or maybe skinning because i mean this point here this point is really good for getting right in and then just 
uh, peeling right down. So I mean, for for that purpose, this is an outstanding knife. It actually came rather sharp out, right out of the box. The one the one thing that I'm almost kind of threw me off when I bought it though, the the steel that they made this out of, they call it a high high carbon stainless steel, which I I've never heard of that. Uh, not on any other blade. I mean, I've never even heard anybody talk about it. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a mystery steel to me. I've never heard of high carbon stainless steel. Uh, I was going to look that up, but I kind of forgot about it until just now. Um, but uh, there are these two fake blood grooves. These are more just for balance to kind of lessen the weight. Um, it is full tang. You can see it goes all the way through the handle, but. Um, I mean, you can see how big the blade is, and then it gets, it just tapers down way too much. So, I mean, if you put, if you do try baton with this and you just tweak it a little, I'm not too positive on how it would hold up with anything like that because, I mean, it just it tapers down pretty quickly. Uh, but, I mean, as far as sliding out, it's not going to do that because you can see there's these two. Or well, it's just one pin, but it's, it goes through both sides, and that's what's actually holding the blade into the knife. So I mean, it's not going to come out. It's not going to be any of those like super cheap knives. Like uh, I think I had a Winchester, and that blade literally just fell out of the handle. So I mean, it is full tang, but just because of the how how bad it tapers down, I'm not sure if you accidentally twist it while it's in a log or anything, if you do use it for that, it, it, it may it may snap. And not to mention it is kind of a mystery steel. You guys might have heard of it, I never have. I've heard of carbon steel and stainless steel obviously, but never uh, together. Um, so that's that. The handle though, it's got a nice round pommel. Uh, I do like the guard, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, like for like I said, this is gonna be for finer work, so I mean I can rest my thumb right here and get pretty good uh, control of the blade. Uh, it is a very nice rubberized. Feels really it's solid, but it's it's not like hard, you know. Um, it, it's it's actually a very nice handle. I do like that. Uh, and, I mean it, it's decently grippy. I, I can't see this slipping out unless it was absolutely so. Um, because the rubber eyes it does seem to kind of, I mean, even when you're just sweat, you're like if you're hand sweating, it does seem to give a little bit if it if it's too wet. But um, I still haven't actually taken this out yet. Uh, I've only done a little bit with it. This is more of just a first impression review. I will have an actual uh, demo of me using it. For what I would use, and I might, I may if it if it surprises me, I may try batoning with it. Maybe. Um. Can't really think of anything else to add into this review. I think I covered everything. Um. But yeah, it, it's a pretty nice knife. It's it's well balanced. If I can find the sweet spot. Uh, I found it earlier, but I mean it's it's like right around here. So I, I'm going to assume this is where it starts to taper down. It stays relatively thick right here and then gets thinner. I, I don't know. I'm just assuming. Um, but everything feels solid. It's just we have to see how it holds up when it's actually being used. So uh, if you guys are interested in this, this is about thir this is 30 bucks. I got this from Bass Pro Shops. Uh, you can find it on Amazon for cheaper, but I didn't feel like waiting for shipping. Uh, so, plus with shipping is probably going to be thirty dollars. So I mean, around the same price, no matter where you get them. Um, but that, 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 I think that's it for this review, guys. Um, if you're interested in this, whether you're collecting or planning on actually using it, I'd say it's a decent purchase. Like I said, this snap is pretty hard. There we go. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment.